In this lecture, we are going to work on a couple of functionalities. First, we will work on redirecting the user to the dashboard page once the user is logged in or signed up. Then, we will also show or hide some of the menu links based on user authentication state. And let's start with redirecting the user to the dashboard component once he is logged in or signed up. Now, we can add the logic of redirecting the user in two places. We can either do it in the login component class, so here, or we can also do it inside this auth service. So once we have the response here itself, we can write the logic of redirecting the user to the dashboard component. Or we can also write that logic of redirecting the user once we have received the response and when this next callback function gets called. Okay, so both the approaches are fine. It's all your preference where you want to do it. Now, I'm going to do it in the login component class. That's because I feel like redirecting the user to another page is something which is related to UI. So, I prefer to have the UI related logic in my component class itself. But as I mentioned earlier, we can also write that logic inside this auth service. So, once we have received the response at that time, if we want, we can also redirect the user to the dashboard component. All right, now let's go to login component.ts and there let's write the logic of redirecting the user. So in order to redirect the user to another component, to another page, first we need an instance of router class injected inside this login component. So here I'll create a variable. I'll simply call it as router. It is going to be of type router. And in order to use this router, we also need to import it from angular slash router. Okay. And in order to ask Angular to inject an instance of this router class, we are going to use this inject method, this inject function. And to use this inject function, we need to import it from Angular slash co. So we are already doing it here. And let's call this inject function. And there, let's specify the type. So the type here is going to be router. Okay, so in this way, inside this login component, Angular will inject an instance of this router class and that instance will be assigned to this router variable. Now let's scroll down and inside this on form submitted function, we are handling both login and sign up request. And whenever we are going to receive the response from that request, we are handling it using this next function. So if the request was successful and we received the response, in that case, this next callback function will be called. Otherwise, if some error occurs, in that case, this error callback function will be called. Now, we want to redirect the user to the dashboard component once we have received the success response. Okay, so once we will receive the success response, in that case, this next callback function will be called. And inside that, we are going to write the logic of redirecting the user. So here, we can simply access the instance of router class. And on that, we are going to call navigate method. And to this navigate method, we will specify the URL to which we want to redirect the user. So we want to redirect the user to dashboard component. For that, the path is dashboard. All right, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. And there, let's first try to log in. So I'm going to log in this user, johnsmith at gmail.com. And for this user, the password is 12345678. So when I click on this login button, the user should be logged in and he should be redirected to this dashboard component, as you can see. Okay, so here the navigation is working. Now again, let's go back to the login page. And there, now let's try to create a new user. So here I'm going to create a new user. Let's call it markwatt at gmail.com. And again, let's specify a password for this user. So here we are signing up a user. So a new user will be created in the database. And once that user is created, the user will be automatically logged in. And at that time, the dashboard component will be displayed. So we will be redirected to dashboard component. As you can see, the user has been created and we have been redirected to dashboard component. Now what we want to do is, if a user is logged in, in that case, this login link should not be displayed to that user because the user is already logged in. In that case, here we want to display logout link. Also, if the user is not logged in, in that case, this dashboard component should not be visible to the 
not logged in user. This dashboard component should only be visible to the logged in users. Let's see how we can implement that. For that, in our last lecture, inside this auth service, we created this user subject. And this user subject, it is going to emit a user object. And in that user object, we are going to have a JSON web token, right? So if on this user object, a JSON web token exists, and if it has not expired, that means the user is logged in. Otherwise, the user is not logged in. Also, remember that this subject will emit a user when we are logging in or signing up. So if no user is logged in or signed up, in that case, this subject is going to emit null. Okay, so using this concept, we are going to show or hide some of the menus in our Angular application. Let's see how we can do that. For that, let's go to header component. Okay, and here we have our links. Let me also add one more link here for logout. Okay, and here I'm not going to specify any router link. I'll simply specify an anchor tag. Let's save this file. Now let's go to header component.ts and inside this class, we are going to inject an instance of this auth service. So here again, I'm going to create a property. I'll simply call it as auth service. It is going to be of type auth service. And to use this auth service, we also need to import it from this file. And to ask Angular to inject an instance of this auth service class inside this header component class, I'm going to use inject function. And in order to use it, we need to import it from angular slash co. And there, we need to specify the type. So the type here is going to be auth service. So in this way, inside this header component, we will have an instance of auth service class. Now, here I'm going to implement ng on init lifecycle hook. And also, this ng on init lifecycle hook, it is provided by on init interface. So I'm also going to implement that interface. Okay. And in here, I'm going to subscribe to this user subject. Okay, let's close this login component.ts and let's close this user.ts as well as auth response.ts. So here I'll simply say this dot auth service dot user, which is a subject, and here we are going to subscribe to that subject. All right, now when we have subscribed to this subject, whenever this subject is going to emit a new value, this subscriber will be notified about that. And at that time, it is going to execute this callback function. And this callback function is going to receive the data which this user subject is going to emit. In this case, it is going to emit a user object. So let's simply call it as user and it is going to be of type user. Right. And now here, what we will do is inside this header component, let's also create another property and let's call it is logged in. It is going to be a Boolean value. And initially, let's set it to false. And once we have the user object, what we are going to do is we will simply say this dot is logged in equals. So as I mentioned earlier, if no user is logged in or signed up, in that case, this subject, it is going to emit null. Otherwise, if a user is logged in or signed up, in that case, it is going to emit that user object. Right. So here, what we are going to check is, here we are going to check if the user exists. That means if it is not a falsy value. If user is null, that means it is going to be a falsy value. But if it is not null, that means it is going to store a user object. So in that case, it will be a truthy value. So if this user has a user object, it is a truthy value. In that case, we want to return true. We want to assign this is logged in with this value true. Else we want to assign it with this value false. Okay, now we are going to use this is logged in property in order to show or hide a menu item. So let's go to header component.html. There, we want to show this home page always. So any user, whether the user is logged in or not, he should be able to access this home page. But this dashboard page, it should only be accessible to a logged in user. 
it should not be accessible to not logged in user. So for that here I am going to use ng if directive and to that I will assign is logged in. So if this is logged in is true then only this menu item will be displayed. Then this login link it should be displayed to the user if the user is not logged in. So here also I will use ng if and to this I will assign is logged in. Now this login link it should be displayed if the user is not logged in. So here I am going to use not operator. Okay, so if the user is not logged in, then only we want to show this login link. And this logout link we want to show if the user is already logged in. We don't want to show this logout link if the user is not logged in. So let's copy this ng if statement and let's also add it here. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. So initially, when the application will restart, let me restart the application. Okay, so we are in the home page and you see we are seeing this login link, but we are not seeing the dashboard link. Right, if I go to this login and there, if I log in using John Smith credential and when I click on this login button, now we are logged in and you see we are seeing the home link, we are seeing the dashboard link and we are seeing the logout link. We are not seeing the login link. Okay, so this functionality is also now working. Now keep in mind, so what I will do is I will restart the application. So in that case, the user object will be null. That means no user is logged in. Right, when I restart the page, all these codes will be re-executed and at that time, this user service, it will be created and at that time, no user has been created yet because no user is signed up or logged in. So at that time, this user object will be null. That means currently no user is logged into this application. So at that time, it is only showing this home link and the login link. And it is not showing the dashboard link here. So this is the functionality which we have implemented. But in the URL, if I type slash dashboard, even though no user is logged in currently for this application, it will redirect us to that dashboard page. So this is one thing which we need to fix and we are going to fix it in our future lecture. All right, now let's go back to VS Code. And as we have learned earlier in our previous lectures, whenever we are subscribing to an observable, like we are doing here in the header component, here inside this ng on init, we are subscribing to an observable. This user, it is a subject and a subject is nothing but an observable. So whenever we are subscribing to an observable, it is always a good practice to unsubscribe from that observable explicitly. And for that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a new property. I will simply call it as user subject. You can name it anything. It is going to be of type subject. And in order to use this subject, we also need to import it from RxJS. And actually it should be of type subscription, not subject. So subscription. Okay, let's remove this subject from here. So here I'm creating a property. Let's also make it private because we are not going to use this property outside of this class. Okay, so here we are creating a property of type subscription. And here when we are subscribing to this user subject, this subscribe method, it is going to return us a subscription. So we are going to assign that subscription to this user subject. So here let's say this dot user subject equals whatever subscription this subscribe method is going to return. And now what we want is we also want to unsubscribe from this from this observable from this subject before this component gets destroyed. So I'm also going to implement ng on destroy interface this lifecycle hook and in order to use this ng on destroy lifecycle hook we can also implement on destroy interface. Okay, and here what we will do is we will simply say this dot user subject dot unsubscribe. And that's it. So here we are explicitly unsubscribing from this user subject, this subscription. Right. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it.
Thank you for listening and have a great day.